representing the western coast of Brazil here on the patio on the southern coast of Spain. Welcome to this video. This is Catlia Lobata. Last repotted in April of 2021. It is time for another repot and thankfully this orchid is producing a second flush of roots because her first flush happened during the winter months of 23 and 24. Not a good time for me to repot even though she needed it. Her pot is broken. It's all just nasty. She deserves better but I can't cannot repot during that time of year for a warm to hot growing orchid when <laughs> my temperatures are not in her favor, even though she can handle low temperatures of 13 degrees Celsius. But that is if she's grown in a wet dry cycle in large media. My setup is not that. I have her in LECA and self-watering. That equates to evaporative cooling and that equates to lower temperatures in the pot than the ambient air would have. And also Todd's Tropicals warned me that repotting at the wrong time would make this orchid lose her roots. And for that reason, I am ever so grateful she's given us a second flush of roots because now I can repot her. Great timing. I'm a little bit apprehensive. It's been a while since I've seen her roots. We are about to find out what is going on in the pot. These are the viable roots from the winter. Oh, they are super duper attached. Wish me luck. There we go. At least we could get the tag out. Whew. <laughs> Let's see if she'll give us some leeway now. Crunch. I was going to say crunch, crunch, crack, crack. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That is okay. We have a semi viable root. Let's see. We'll take it all the way back there. Yep, that was dead. Alrighty. I don't know about you, but I am happy with that. That's about three years of root growth. I am not concerned about the fact I have dead roots. How much do I want to get in here? Not that much. I'm just creating some space. I would like to have her in the next pot for about four years because I don't want to disturb her as she hopefully will come into bloom for us for the first time in the coming years. So if that were about to happen, then all of a sudden, you know, I would be in a situation where I would have to repot, which could then disturb the first blooming again. So my plan now for the next two or three years is to have her in a pot and actually not disturb her until she blooms. And of course, because I got the heads up from Todd's Tropicals about about her and her finicky roots. Yay, fern! Adios! <laughs> Just want to know if these in here are viable. They look extremely brown, but you never know. Maybe they are. She has a firm root system. I'm happy to see that she does have branching tendencies. Not a generous branching tendency, but branching nonetheless. They were all dead. That is great. It would be most annoying at this stage to be cutting roots off that look dead at the top and are viable at the bottom, but nope. That guesstimate was correct. <laughs> now, the question is, how pedantic are we going to be? My intuition tells me it's good enough. And I think sometimes we just need to go with our gut feeling. And what we can peel out from the center is what we're going to take out, but nothing around the edges. There's plenty of space already for the bigger pot, plus for whatever comes next. Hopefully, blooms maybe in 2025, maybe in 2026. And if you want to be around for that, please consider subscribing to the channel if you are new here, or if you have been waiting to see whether it is worthwhile to subscribe to my channel and you've been watching, maybe this video will convince you and say, yeah, I am going to subscribe to this channel. So I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much for the support. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm sorry for the sound of my voice. I am focusing. I'm really concentrating <laughs> and I'm fighting the two thoughts, one on the left shoulder, one on the right shoulder, one that keeps going, the side of the brain that keeps going when you've already said that's enough. You've done plenty. There's plenty of space for the coming three years. <laughs> and here we are still snipping away. <laughs> I'm doing that as well. I'm trying to listen to myself. 
and tell my hands to stop because it's fine. There's no problem and I will stop. I'd rather have an intact root system as opposed to a stressed root system and then have to be cross with myself that I just couldn't stop. The steamy hot jungle of Borneo and very, very humid jungle of Borneo is represented on the patio. Welcome to the repotting of my Demophorcus loei, which has been in my collection since 2018 and has never been repotted. Oh, if you're still here, hello! <laughs> we are going to repot another one in this video simply because, <laughs> again, broken pots, we got new roots. This orchid deserves better, even though I will never ever see her bloom. Maybe one day this orchid gets into the hands of somebody and when she blooms they will remember who raised her all these decades <laughs> it is time even though i could probably leave this orchid in this pot for let's say another five years <laughs> it wouldn't really matter but i don't like my orchids in broken pots and we have an alternative pot for her so let's get into this and see what she has to offer i am super curious just what i thought partial root dead here Hardly surprising in my cold winter months. I don't like them. This one definitely doesn't like them, which is also very evident with the curling of the leaves. Right, let's get her up and hot it. See what we're up against. Don't want to just yank her now. She has the weight of the water. Simply irresistible. <laughs> enough is enough. I can't go on, I can't go on no more, no, enough is enough. <laughs> Let's put her up. Not too shabby. Not disappointed. I could see by her foliage that something was viable in the pot, so I wasn't too concerned because her leaves at least are giving us more of a size jump year in year out slow as she may be in growing i have to watch out for root tips that i didn't notice before and i hope i didn't damage one yikes still these are glorious i love them yes Yes, I am not upset about this at all. Super encouraged. Everything has been sterilized from one orchid to the next. Dead at the top, dead, 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 dead. Viable, viable, viable. So we'll keep that one. Woohoo! This is great. I'm really pleased. We didn't break the root tip. I don't see a root tip in my pot. That was the one I didn't notice. This one right here. So let's not break it now that we're on the home stretch. Let's get her potted up. I don't think this pot size is going to give us three years. I'm checking how the rhizome is growing. It's not a rambling rhizome, but we have one left, one right, one left. So this growth right here is to the left. The next one will come out to the right. Uh, we may get three years, but I don't have a bigger pot. So we're just going to roll with it and see what she does. I'm keeping this one lower in the pot. I've gone up two pot sizes now from 15 to 20. And then we will check on her in another six years. <laughs> and in the hopes she grows well, I'm putting in a support. Too much water. Even though it is early in the day, I don't want that base to be so submerged until I'm done.
So we're gonna make it very easy for that root tip. We're not going to have Lekka impeding its direction of growth. And I saw a third root tip starting at the base. We're gonna keep an eye on that. I don't want that to stall either. They do like to slide in there, don't they? So I'm just gonna keep a little bit excess Lekka in the pot because then I can always cover the roots as they grow into the Lekka and hopefully then they shall continue to grow. Right here is another little root nubbin, which would be so, so awesome to get three out of her. Amazing! Done and done. What's going into these pots is calcium nitrate at a parts per million of 500. And now, anticipating blooms from the Lobata in, I am guessing, about two years, maybe sooner. <laughs> and probably I will never see the blooms of my Demophorcus Loei, which at this rate probably has another 30 years before it is blooming size. In the meantime, it is fun to grow and it was fun to have you on the patio. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, anything you would like to bring to my attention, even if it doesn't pertain to anything I did in this video, know that the comments are there for a reason. And thank you so much for watching to the end. I appreciate your time and I get to wish you a beautiful day on the condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.